up, you guys? I'm gonna do with another video. Doing a uh, just a little roll around right now, just trying to get back to the uh, to the terminal right now. We're rolling, taking a few little back roads to get back to my side of town. Uh, this is just a little video, man. Just to tap in and see what's going on with some people. I'm trying to make this a routine thing with YouTube, not real YouTube savvy. I'll learn one day. One day I'll sit down and Google all the information I need to learn about YouTube. But as of right now, I'm just not too interested in doing it. But I do like getting my points across and putting a little, little information and messages out there to people that, you know, may have a little interest in things that I'm doing, which is driving trucks. That's what I do for a living, my main thing. I'm first generation, I love it. Some days where, you know, this traffic stuff in and out, people having it right when they go home, making a left turn, the sudden stops, you know, the hard breaking and all that. It can get on, it can, it can really get on our nerves too. The thing about it is people uh, look at truck driving as if we get on y'all nerves. Same time, y'all, you know, regular drivers, cars, pick up trucks, y'all get on our nerves too. But, you know, I'm gonna say it like this we need each other in a sense because if you ain't, if you ain't buying what I'm hauling on this trailer, guess what? I'm out of work. So, if you ain't buying, guess what? I ain't working. So you, you helping me out on the way in more ways than you think. So I guess we just gotta get on each other's nerves till we get it right. Been doing this driving thing with, you know, see the air while I've been driving trucks. Uh, on the 21st, uh, what's this, uh, 2021, 21st of April, be six years. And I have, people, some people ask me, Okay, you've been doing it for this long. Why haven't you got your own truck? And I have my reason. Some people jump out here within the first year or within the first two years and they figure like, you know what? I got it. I got what it takes. I'm going to jump out the box. And if you succeed, that's cool. And even if you fail, that's cool too. But as long as you bounce back and, you know, able to correct those mistakes that you made along the way and you get back out there. Even if you try to say, you know what, this is not for me like I thought it was. You know, as long as you're doing what you got to do to provide for your family and you want to grow every day, that's fine. I, I have a problem with, uh, with prolonged situations. I'm trying not to cut, but I have a problem with uh, acting fast. Sometimes I like to observe before I jump into things. So I figured, okay, let me get my experience up. Let me get, you know, let me, let me study the lanes because every year there's something different with this stuff, man. People get in this game and they might get in at a good time. And they think like, you know, money going to last. Money, money going to be like this forever. Rates going to be high. Just like people talk about with this, uh, with the housing market talk about what people need to buy right now, it's only going to continue to get higher and higher. And no, it's not. That's with this trucking thing, man. The rates are not going to keep going up, up, and up. You're not going to keep getting licks, you know what I'm saying, every season now. That's, it doesn't happen like that. And that's when a lot of people go out of business or get a truck up and go back to company because they can never really predict what's going to happen um, as, as far as the rates are concerned. And on top of that, the weather and people not putting away for maintenance costs and things of that nature that can really just shut you down before you really get a right a good footing on anything. So that's why I took my time because I had more study, I had more learning to do. I, had, I got a more paperwork stuff I gotta take care of before I just jump out there and say, you know what, I'm ready. Even in six years, coming up on six years, I'm still kinda hesitant. But at the same time, I feel like right now, I can't wait any longer. 
I feel like I'd be doing myself uh, a disservice by prolonging the situation. I mean, my credit ain't the best, and it's pretty good. You know what I mean? And, and, and my, my kids are getting a little bit older, so, you know, therefore they can get a better understanding of what's going on. And y'all, I mean, y'all don't know, I missed my son's first birthday that I got on, on, on the road, man. I feel like, like crap. those things because I was out there driving and uh, there's certain sacrifice you're going to have to make out here man that's just what it is you know that's just what it is you can be around for every every move by you know, you just got to really learn what you can learn stay focused it'd be good to have a plan but sometimes those plans get derailed by other issues that could be family, it could be uh, personal issues, it could be health. It's a list of things that could just lead you in another direction to you know, offset your plan. As long as you stay the course, as long as you uh, know what you want to do. Like right now, I know I want to get the truck. I know I want to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do the cash. I don't know if I want to do at least purchase. But at the same time, I know it has to be done. And so I'm on YouTube looking at reasons as to why you should be, some reasons that you should be, some why you should buy, why you shouldn't buy outright. And all these things are very informative, but at the same time, I have to make a decision that's best for me and my family. That's it. That's all. And then a further decision down the line is about the next driver. Because that's the bigger picture is give people employed. Get people in a truck that know how to drive, know what they're doing, and love what they're doing. As I learn about the business, I can teach them along the way. That's my whole thing. That's what it's about. First is finding the truck and the situation I want to get in, family, and then after that, put people in a position where they can grow as well. Period. That's it. I know what it takes to get out here and, and put that pedal to the metal get to it. I know what it takes. Accident free going for six years. I'm very appreciative of that that I never call, cause any harm to anybody physically and hopefully mentally. I, I appreciate that. I, I'm so thankful because I see accidents every day. And you gotta know when to turn down a load. I don't give a damn what the money look like. You Sometimes you gotta know when to turn down a load. You know, I had to turn down a load today. Simple fact, I got up to like 7 o'clock. I got up at 7 o'clock, right? Okay, we usually got to be at the terminal by 9 to pick up the load. I, I used to do this run probably like, take like two and a half hours to get there. Boom. Cool, I'm used to that. Two and a half hours, three hours, sometimes like three and a half the traveling road work but this time they wanted me to go where i don't want to go no more and i took this load up, up to kentucky at the top of like the, the, right at the bottom of kentucky and it take like they, almost four hours to get there mind you i'm up i'm ready like i said i like to get to the yard at nine o'clock but this time it was an unfortunate situation night before last people lost their lives on company ground but I knew it was gonna be kind of a delay. So I'm like, oh, I, I, I understand it. But I was waiting for three hours this time. Like three hour wait, I'm like, damn, man, it's a beautiful home. So I'm like, man, I don't know about that. And the dude, the supervisor hit me up, he was like, man, when I texted him, he was like, man, they look for a load right now. I said, anywhere but Kentucky. He laughed out loud in a reply. So I'm like, I'm dead ass serious. Though. I'm not going to Kentucky. I'm not doing that today. Wait, two and a half hours. Boom, man, you, man, you spoke it into existence. Uh, they want you to go to Kentucky. Like, like, 
appreciate you guys. Appreciate, appreciate you checking me out. Y'all have a good one.